We have the liquore strega. Oh. Strega. That is an odd color. The witch. I like it. The witch. The witch. You know, honestly, I've always seen this. This, the Galliano. Uh, I think they're the only two that are like big yellow bottles, right? I think you get this as like the thing to put in the back of the bar. And yeah. Maybe you've never. It looks cool. And maybe you've never had it. Yeah, I, I've never had it. I've never had strega. Yeah. Not as far as I can remember. I was thinking we try this. The PR company that represents Strega was kind enough to send us the ingredients for a, top, a cocktail mm -hmm. called the Witch Word, which is a, a variation on the last word cocktail. So it's Strega. Uh, the, they sent me the Luxardo Maraschino, Maraschino liqueur, and this 50 pounds gin, yep. and a couple of limes. There you go. So we're going to make the cocktail after we try this, but I really want to try this on its own. Try it first. So you read, I'll open it for Le Corre Strega is distilled from a mixture of 70 botanicals. 70? Not four. Not <laughs> certainly not five. 70, 70. botanicals. Oh. The ingredients come from Europe, Central America, and from Orient. Orient. Among the ingredients are cinnamon from Ceylon, Aspect. juniper, Aspect. oh, glow glow. That's nice. It looks syrupy. Oh, it's got one of those cool, like, funky yeah, Italian like pours. pours. It's one of those crazy pours. So it is cinnamon from San Juan, juniper from the Italian Apennino, mint that grows wild in the riverbanks around Benevento, cloves, and star anise. All the botanicals are first crushed. Then, after the maceration, all the herbs are added to grain alcohol to create an infusion. Hmm. The mixture is then distilled slowly in the traditional swan neck alembic to preserve the characteristics of all the herbs. Liquor Estrega is defined a liquid sun ray. Its golden characteristic color is given by the precious tincture of saffron added to distillates together with sugar syrup hmm. in an operational blending. The production process is completed with the maturing for several months in oak barrels that enhances the bouquet. So you got soda botanicals, some saffron, and oak barreling. Fun. Pretty nice. Fun. Fun. All right. Let's give it a taste. Let's give it a shot, sir. Cheers. Cheers. I love the color. Look at that color. Look at that Ooh. color. Look at that. Look at that pretty gold and yellow Ooh. color. I'm just who in the botanicals. Who? Hmm. That smells pretty good. I mean, I, I like this kind of stuff. There's a lot going on I there. really get the anise. Herbal. I think, I think the anise is very strong on this. Very herbal. But there's more to it. Yeah. There's more to yeah. it. It's oh. not... It's a whole herbal Because if it was just anise, it would just be anise yeah, or a sambuca. It's smelling like a sambuca. Yeah. And, and this is not shy. It's no. at 40%. So, I mean, you figure we get whiskeys that are like 40%. But this really is just whiskey. Yeah. You do this, like what are they using as the you know the the base? Spirit the apple, What's yeah. it come off? Yeah. All right, I'm gonna do a try. Moonshine. Oh, it's it's Italian moonshine. Mm -hmm. That is funky. I kind of like it though. Very syrupy. It's very sweet. This will probably be nice on the rocks. Very sweet up front. Mm -hmm. And then there's a good hint of cinnamon on mid palate there towards is, the back. It's actually very sugary. Yeah, but the sweetness keeps coming through. Yeah, it's almost like too syrupy. Mm -hmm. um, straight, you know, you're probably supposed to use right, this right, as right. something else. But yeah, a straight. It's a, I like. I, I enjoy nice syrupy things. This is nice. nice. And for as much um, anise on the nose, you don't get so much of it in the flavor. It's there, but it's not like in the front. I yeah, like I, I nice. see what you're saying about the cinnamon. Yeah, but there's a lot of sugar. But it's like yeah. You know, like with like when you get the uh, you get the American Coke versus mm -hmm. the Mexican yeah, 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 Coke, yeah. Yep. and you get that like there's like a crispness to cane sugar, mm -hmm. and that's kind of like how this feels. Mm -hmm. You know, like on the top of a powdered donut or whatever, like that kind of sugar. Well, that's nice. Mm. Now, would this be a digestif or an aperitif or an aperitif? I would think this is an after dinner drink, right? Don't you mm -hmm. think it's a little too much for beginning? Maybe I, I, I don't know. I don't know either. I'm I not think. sure. I don't, know. I don't know. I'm just wondering, is this something you would have to calm your belly? You know what? To... This would probably be nice with a, like a highball. Just a little bit and then just put some like yeah. some sound pellegrino yeah. and maybe like a little bit of orange slice or lemon or something I, like that. I also think this would be nice though for a little bit of ice cream. Yeah, isn't that, didn't you read that somewhere? Yeah. A little bit of ice cream. Yeah. Like what though? What flavor though? Would you mm -hmm. do vanilla? I think vanilla. I think I'd go with I mean, vanilla, the, the beauty of vanilla, yeah, vanilla, the beauty of vanilla is it is the base, right? So you can just right. do everything yeah, with vanilla. it. Yeah, it works, like, it works uh, with everything. Remember our favorite little place that, that shut down? The, uh, uh, 
Capogiro. Capogiro. So with the with, with the, the gelatos. Well, with oh. the gelato, there is the fior de latte, mm -hmm. which is not even like vanilla. It's like a cream ice cream, and that's the base. And mm -hmm. then they build everything on top of that. So you know, put this on top put of this that. This on top, yeah. So they tell you to try this frozen, in coffee, hot chocolate, on ice cream, and in fruit salad. Interesting. So, it's something to do. Fun. I like it though. It's it's, it's pretty nice. good. It's good on its own. I'm yeah. imagining uh, this is an ingredient in a cocktail must be pretty good because it's a well crafted ingredient. So yes, give that a whirl. Yep. What when did they start? 1860. Or uh, something? The story of Stray began in 1860 in the town of Benevento, Italy, located halfway between Rome and Naples. The town was, according to an old legend, considered as the meeting place for witches throughout the world. Witches? Dun, dun, dun. Were they made of wood? They were made of wood. <laughs> Very small churches. That is. <laughs> It is here in 1860, Giuseppe Alberti, after having worked for many years as a successful wine trader, decided to open a distillery, making a liqueur with the help of his apothecary father. Oh, you read. I'm going to get the... I'm going to get the... Young Alberti, aware of the popular interest and fascination around the legend of the Benevento witches, decided to call his liquor Strega, literally, witch liquor. Mm. Okay. Strega is probably the oldest Italian liqueur to be known worldwide. Today, only two people know the original recipe that has been carefully handed down for generations from fathers. They're going to take it to the graves. The company is still owned and managed by the Alberti family, now in its sixth generation since its foundation. Hmm. Nowadays, in addition to the famous Strega liqueur, the company produces the most traditional Italian liqueurs like Limoncello and Sambuca, as well as a wide range of nougats and chocolates. Hmm. I, like I haven't heard anything I don't like yet. No, I'm, in, I'm all in. I'm all in. Australian so, products are currently exported in more than 50 countries worldwide. Cool. All right, let me get this cocktail together. Yep. I'll break it. So we have all the ingredients. C. For the witch word. C. So C. 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 So four ingredients. Lime. 50 pounds gin. Strega. Luxardo Maraschino liqueur. Cherry liqueur. Yes. That's it. A lot of words to That's say. It's cherry liqueur. No, it's maraschino. It's a, it's a, it's a so, type of it's type of cherry. So you make uh, this with four ingredients. Yep. All the same measures. Yep. 0. 0.7, 0. 0.7, 0. 0.7, 0. 0.7. Yes. So, so for us, you'll double it because I will double there's two of us. There are two. Come on, said one boy. <laughs> there are two. All right. So. Look at you, it's like you know what you're doing. Almost. Almost, sir. Chin chin. Cheers. Chin chin. Salute. Chin chin. Salute. But chin chin. Kind of salute. Chin chin. You got the other chin chin. Hmm. It smells kind of good. I'm it's getting fresh. That. Nice fresh smell. Like a lot of fruit. I get, I get a lot of the, lot of I get a lot of the stray. A lot of fruit. You know, a lot of the anise coming through. Ooh. I like that'll, that. That'll do you. Oh, that'll, 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 that'll That's do you. a nightcap for you. That'll do you. Yeah. Would you rim the glass? No. Nah. Little crushed sugar? Did they say to rim the glass? I'm asking you. No. Do you feel like you need to do something? That's more work. That's more work. <laughs> you can rim more the glass. Work. More work. This is a, this is a nice cocktail. Mm, 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 mm. That is delicious. Not too sweet. Not too tart. And not too ginny. Yeah. Not too strega y. Interestingly, Equal parts of everything. Yeah, it's got a really nice balance, I yeah, think. That's a really nice cocktail. That is pretty good. That's pretty nice. good. Now you know what it makes me curious to try. The last word. Yeah. Because I think the someone on Instagram um, commented and said that the difference is you substitute chartreuse for the strega. I never had chartreuse, so I don't yeah. know what it tastes like. So yeah. But that is really nice. I had some a little tiny bottle of chartreuse from Miracle Max. One oh, of the yeah, whiskey yeah. shares he brought oh, that yeah, for yeah, some yeah, yeah. reason, and I had that, and it was again a very different sort of flavored thing. And well, funny you say that because the guy that commented is a friend of Miracle Max's. There you go. So it's got Pete. So that is pretty delicious. I like that. That's a solid A. I give that a solid A. Now I don't know if it's like I'm late in the night and I'm feeling kind of buzz and I'm getting great inflation, but this is all good. This is a nice way to end the evening. That is a nice drink. That is a very nice well crafted drink. cocktail. I like it. I like and it. A lot. I really, you know, having never had Strega mm -hmm. and knowing very little about it besides the rather unique bottle and the color, yeah, 
That's a pretty good beverage. That is very good. I like I it. I do like that. That's delicious. I do like that. Delicious. I'd like to try this 50 pounds gin on its own at some point. I think I would like to go uh, back to Italy and instead of trying grappa. Spadega. Spadega. And see what they say when the Medigan goes in and asks for can, can we do the Amaro tour of Italy? Oh. Uh, huh? Uh, I'm all in. Uh, I told you before, we got a lie and say we're going to a business conference. Not take anybody but us. <laughs> You know, my employer, I think, has something going on in Italy. I, go. I got to work that. There you go. And I got to go with you. All right. I don't know I'm why, in. but I got to Insurance. 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 Cheers. Cheers. Cheers to a fine drink. Thank you to the uh, folks at Strega, 50 Pounds Gin, Luxardo, for uh, making some delicious stuff that comes beautifully together. Yes, they do. Delicious. Cheers. Delicious. Thank you.